It was supposed to be a routine inspection, until engineers stumbled upon something hidden deep inside the Boeing 7077, something no one was ever meant to find. What they uncovered is now raising serious questions across the aviation world, and could change the future of flight forever. Welcome to Jet Avia, where the skies reveal their secrets. From airline mysteries to aircraft breakthroughs, this is your cockpit to the truth. And with more than 50 years of experience, this is a safe, safe, breakthroughs, this is your cockpit to the truth. When the Boeing 787 was first unveiled, it stood as a symbol of ambition, an aspiration to push the boundaries of aerospace innovation. Branded as the Dreamliner, the aircraft embodied the hopes of a generation of engineers, travelers, and airlines. But, over time, a troubling pattern of technical failures has emerged, shaking the aviation industry and quietly eroding public trust. Once a dream, the Dreamliner now feels more like a growing nightmare. What went wrong? And how could this aircraft jeopardize its own future? Initially celebrated as a breakthrough in aviation, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner arrived with a bold promise to revolutionize long-haul air travel. The aircraft boasted numerous design improvements meant to enhance passenger comfort. Among its most praised features was the advanced cabin pressurization system, which maintains cabin altitude at around 6,000 feet, much lower than typical aircraft, reducing fatigue and headaches during long-haul journeys. Increased cabin humidity helped minimize dry skin and eye discomfort. The windows, roughly 30% larger than those on traditional jets, included electronic dimming instead of manual shades. Its aerodynamic design and ultra-quiet engines created a noticeably more peaceful flight experience. But the most groundbreaking aspect of the Dreamliner was its construction. It was the world's first commercial aircraft to be built primarily from carbon fiber composites instead of aluminum. Stronger, lighter, and more fuel efficient, its futuristic design was expected to set a new standard for modern aviation. Yet today that same plane is mired in controversy. On March 20, 2025, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration issued a critical airworthiness directive ordering airlines to inspect a vital component, the forward pressure bulkhead. This structure maintains cabin pressure at high altitude. According to the FAA, Boeing may have introduced multiple technical flaws during assembly, misaligned gaps, faulty fasteners, and deviations from engineering specifications. While not posing immediate risk, these errors could accumulate over time, leading to fatigue cracks, corrosion, or potentially catastrophic failure. This is only the latest in a long series of issues. Since 2020, Boeing has repeatedly paused Dreamliner deliveries over structural concerns, most notably in the fuselage join. To handle repairs, the company even created off-site shadow factories to rework more than 120 parked aircraft. Earlier, in 2013, the entire 787 fleet was grounded worldwide following a string of lithium-ion battery fires. What was once Boeing's flagship model has now become a cautionary tale of quality control failure. And there's more. A newly disclosed software issue now threatens the aircraft's communications systems. A recent FAA document proposed a rule requiring Boeing to address a critical flaw in the 787's VHF radios. These systems were reportedly switching between active and standby modes, on their own, without any crew input. This alarming glitch could lead to the loss of communication between flight crews and air traffic control. Public comments on the FAA docket were scathing. One commenter wrote, Given Boeing's history of putting profits above safety, I wouldn't fly on their planes if you paid me. Cutter Airways, one of Boeing's key customers, uh, directdealflight.com, requires almost a trial before booking and airmates are available, stated that the issue persisted even after applying the FAA-approved software patch. The latest structural concerns surrounding the forward pressure bulkhead have only deepened the sense that Boeing's quality control processes are fundamentally broken. 
Although Boeing maintains that its aircraft are safe, with over 165,000 flight cycles completed without fatigue failure, the FAA has now mandated inspections across all U.S. registered 787 variants from the minus 8 to the minus 10, estimated at $850, 0 cents per aircraft, the inspections could cost over $115,000, 0 cents. Not including operational disruptions, Boeing has pledged full cooperation with the FAA and says it will address every flaw, no matter how small. But the repeated nature of these issues raises a deeper question. Are these the symptoms of a company in cultural crisis? Since the 1990s, Boeing has shifted leadership priorities, favoring Wall Street-minded executives over engineering roots. In the decades since, internal concerns over safety and design have grown louder. Once the pride of American aerospace, Boeing now finds itself repeatedly summoned before Congress, facing scrutiny over its safety practices and leadership failures. Thanks for staying with us. If you found this video insightful, be sure to subscribe and share it with others. Stay informed and don't miss what's coming next. Over the years, the consequences of Boeing's ongoing missteps have been far-reaching. The Dreamliner, once a marvel of modern engineering, is now a case study in how technical excellence can unravel. Trust, once Boeing's greatest asset has been severely damaged. Regulators have tightened oversight, airline clients are losing patience, and the brand's once glowing reputation is dimming. Last year, then-CEO Dave Calhoun announced he would step down by the end of 2025. Many view his departure as the first step toward rebuilding Boeing's battered leadership and corporate culture. But for the airlines operating the Dreamliner, the costs are immediate. Repairs, inspections, and flight delays continue to mount. Some are beginning to look elsewhere. Airbus's A350, a direct competitor to the 787, has seen growing adoption, praised for its reliability and lower maintenance disruptions. In a post-pandemic landscape, airlines can't afford unpredictability. Some carriers have already begun adjusting long-term fleet plans, seeking alternatives to Boeing's once-revered jetliner. The latest airworthiness directive surrounding the pressure bulkhead is yet another hit to Boeing's reputation. Beyond the Dreamliner, the company is still dealing with the aftermath of the 737 MAX disasters, two crashes in 2018 and 2019 that claimed 346 lives, and the 2024 Alaska Airlines incident, in the 2024 Alaska Airlines incident, in which a fuselage panel detached mid-air. These events paint a troubling picture of a manufacturer struggling to restore its reputation. For Boeing, the stakes now go far beyond fixing isolated technical flaws. The company must rebuild its culture, refocusing on quality, engineering discipline, and trust. Innovation alone cannot compensate for a breakdown in accountability and safety. If Boeing fails to win back the trust of regulators, airlines and passengers, the Dreamliner could be remembered not as a success story, but as a cautionary tale of missed opportunities. The Boeing 787 was meant to redefine air travel, but unless serious reform takes hold, it risks becoming one of the most expensive miscalculations in aviation history. In today's unforgiving aviation landscape, the margin for error is razor thin. Every mechanical flaw, every leadership stumble, every regulatory failure chips away at hard-earned trust. The Dreamliner, once seen as the future of long-haul flight, is now a stark reminder of how quickly that trust can collapse when shortcuts are taken. The FAA's recent inspection mandate on structural flaws in the forward pressure bulkhead isn't just a technical bulletin, it's a signal. A signal that Boeing's production lines remain out of step with aviation's rigorous safety expectations. Industry experts believe the issues go much deeper than fasteners or fuselage joins. Boeing faces a systemic challenge that demands sweeping reform, starting at the executive level and extending deep into its supply chains. Half measures won't restore confidence. What's needed is a full reset of culture, process, and accountability. Meanwhile, Airbus continues to gain ground with its reliable A350 platform, 
and airlines, facing tighter margins and higher competition, are becoming less tolerant of production setbacks and quality lapses. Several are now shifting loyalty, seeking consistency elsewhere. The Dreamliner's most recent defect, while seemingly technical, is symbolic of a larger crisis. At its core is a critical question. Does Boeing still prioritize engineering excellence, or has it lost its way in the pursuit of market dominance? The answer to that question will determine not just the fate of the 787, but the future of Boeing itself. As a passenger, what would you tell Boeing if you had the chance? Share your thoughts in the comments, we're listening, and who knows, someone at Boeing just might be too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.